We'll often need to convert between one type of unit in the SI system and another. So here's an example problem that's asking us how many meters there are in seven kilometers. Now this might seem like we're converting from meters to kilometers because the word meters comes before the word kilometers in the, the problem statement. However, we have to interpret this problem to mean we're given kilometers and we're asked to find meters. So we're going from kilometers to meters. And so this is where this chart will come in kind of handy. This chart shows how to convert between different units in the metric system and it works like this. If you think of the base unit as meters, it's the, the base unit of length, we can either go up or down converting between the most common units, mega, kilo, milli, and micro, most common in physics, and we also use centi as well. So if we go from, uh, for example, kilo, kilometers, down to the base unit of meters, we're going down the chart, which means that we're going to be moving the decimal point to the right, is how to interpret this. And then the points on the, the chart here indicate that if we're going from kilo, we're going to move one, two, three decimal places. So how this works in this problem then is we're going from seven kilometers to however many meters. So I'll write seven kilometers and then I'm going to move the decimal point one, two, three places to the right. So I'll have to fill in some zeros, one, two, three, and the decimal point was there, and then I'm just going to kind of skip along, one, two, three, and redraw the decimal point, and then of course I'm going to write this properly, seven, followed by three zeros, and I don't need to write the decimal point there, but that's, that's where it is, it's implied, meters. So to answer this problem then, there are 7,000 meters, in seven kilometers. Let's try some more conversions. Let's convert 600 meters to kilometers. So in this case we're going from the base unit up to kilometers again, meters to kilometers. So we're going to go one, two, three decimal places and we're going to be moving the decimal point to the right. Uh, sorry, to the left. So we'll write 600 and since the decimal place is going to be moving to the left I'll give myself some a few zeros of sort of working room there so the decimal point is here and so I'll go one two three and I have moved from base unit one two three to the left and I've now converted this to kilometers. So let me neaten that up and say 0 0.600 kilometers. Okay. Now uh, 30 centimeters to kilometers. In this case we're going from centimeters which is here up to kilometers. So that's one, two, three, four, five places to the left. When we move up, we move the decimal point to the left. So I'm going to write 30 and I'm going to be moving to the left. So I need to give myself, again, like I did up here, some working room. So I'll write some extra few zeros. It's okay to write too many extra zeros. You may not use them all. The decimal point was here. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five because I went from centi one, two, three, four, five places and then I'll rewrite that. I'll neaten it up. Zero point zero zero zero. There were three zeros in front of the thirty. Three zero kilometers. So thirty centimeters is zero point zero 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 three zero kilometers and we'll talk about scientific notation in the next video. Now let's convert 2000 microliters to liters. So if we begin here at micro 10 to the negative sixth power and we need to go up to liters we're going to go one two three four five six 
to the base unit of liters. So we're going to be going up, which means we're going to be moving again the decimal to the left. So I'll write over here 2,000. And then I'll give myself just some working room zeros. And the decimal point is here currently, and I'm going to go 6 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the left. And let me now neaten it up. So 0 0.002000 liters. And let's convert 13 megajoules to millijoules. So that means we'll be going from mega at 10 to the 6th down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 places to milli 10 to the negative 3rd. So 9 moves and if we go down that means we're moving the decimal to the right. So I'll write thir 13 and the decimal point is currently right there and then we know that we need nine places to the right so one two three four five six seven eight nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine so what that means is thirteen followed by seven eight nine zeros and millijoules. Okay, and that decimal point we wouldn't actually write it, but that's where it is. And we might put some commas there. What we'd really do is write this in scientific notation, but again, that's a subject for the next video.